Okay, let's unbox the Mosaic 51 camera, shall we? We have the camera in some very strong protected foam. The camera has uh, six lenses, each with a lens cap. There is a uh, SSD slot here. Um, and then on the other side of the case, we've got all the cables. We have the auxiliary cable. We have the ethernet cable. We have the power cable. We have the GPS GNSS antenna. And we have a USB extension cable. Um, besides that, you will additionally need to get yourself a V-mount battery, such as this one. This is kind of a standard broadcast grade battery, which can be purchased in any country. Uh, this is the battery. This is a V-mount plate that has an XLR connector on it. This is again a very common component. And besides that, you'll need a battery charger for your V-mount batteries, such as this one. Uh, this charges two batteries at the same time. So this is all the stuff that you need to get your Mosaic 51 camera working. Next, we will go through uh, each cable one by one and uh, show you how to get everything connected. So here we have all of the things you need to get your Mosaic 51 camera operational. Here's the Mosaic 51 camera. It has five lenses going around and uh, one on the top. Um, we call uh, this one the front of the camera. Uh, it is the one that's flush with these connectors. And on the other side, um, where the storage is, there's two cameras. Some people like to mount the camera on the car with one camera pointing straight ahead. Other people like to have the camera with two lenses pointing in uh, each direction in order for the street signs on each side of the street to be in the sharpest regions of the lens. Anyway, so besides that, we have the, um, the SSD, which goes into here. Uh, this unscrews and you put a, basically a fancy USB stick with a fast SSD inside, which is uh, with the proper thermal engineering and so on. So this has a capacity of uh, up to two gigabytes, two terabytes, sorry, currently. And the connectors, let's turn the camera over. So here we have the uh, GPS antenna connector. Here we have the auxiliary port. And on the other side, we have the ethernet port and the power ports, as well as some indicator LEDs. So we will connect everything up and turn on the camera. Uh, the first thing that's best would be to connect the GNSS antenna. Um, you don't want to connect this after the camera is turned on. It's best to connect it before the camera is turned on. While we're over here, we can connect the auxiliary connector as well. The auxiliary connector, the auxiliary port, um, allows you to connect a lot of other different types of devices. So we've left the um, cable just bare on the other end. You can connect external GNSS, external IMU, LiDAR, wheel encoders, uh, lots of different things. Um, the protocol is a serial RS-232, um, so that leaves a lot of possibilities. I'll turn the camera around. Um, and we'll connect the Ethernet. Now we'll connect the power connector. Okay, so we've connected and we've got this power cable. On the other end of the power cable, we have this XLR connector. It's a pretty standard four pin XLR connector. And to that, you can connect a um, V-mount battery mount. So you can 
uh, buy these anywhere in any country on Amazon or other um, electronics resellers. So you connect the XLR cables together like this and onto this plate you can mount a V-mount battery. We don't ship batteries with the cameras. Again, these can be bought locally um, pretty widely. It's a standard broadcasting type of battery. Up to 100, mil, uh, to 100 watt hours uh, you can take on carry-on luggage. So when you connect the power, the camera will switch on. It does not have its own power switch. It is on once you connect the power. So now the camera is on. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a LED uh, and these will change uh, based on the uh, status of the camera. So that is uh, everything that you need to um, connect the Mosaic 51 camera. Okay, okay, and uh, here we have the Ethernet cable. The Ethernet cable can be used to control the camera as well as to transfer data. Uh, this can be plugged into any device with a web browser, including laptops, tablets, and phones. Uh, on, a, on a phone or tablet with a USB-C port, you can get a USB-C to Ethernet uh, converter, um, connect it, and then uh, you can access the camera with your web browser, just putting in the IP address of the camera. And uh, that's everything that you need to uh, get your Mosaic 51 switched on and working. Thank you.